Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We, we're always going to let you in early. We're going to talk to you again before we go live with the other thing. Just an amazing place that we'll not be later on tonight. And we're very grateful to the people at the nearby farm for letting us out here because this is a place nobody's allowed to come. It's completely private land. You're not allowed here. It's miles away from anywhere you'd ever drive. You'll never see it from the road. And have a look at this. Let's just switch the daylight on. What a fantastic looking place. This is High Friarside Medieval Chapel. How good is that? Now I know it's still early, but what a place. What a gorgeous looking thing. And you might think, well, why the devil's Alan there? Well, because there's a fantastic story that I'll be telling. I'll be telling a very tragic story a little bit later on. But for now, we're just giving you a little bit of background because this place, the chapel, a medieval chapel, the Christians had an awful lot of money. However, it's what was here actually around the same time as the chapel. There was a place called High Friarside Leper Hospital. A leper hospital. Who would have thought, just off the Tyne, literally right in the centre of Tyneside, who would have thought? And it was here, right beside this priory. The weird thing was, and the thing that a lot of people will never understand, and to be honest, I don't understand either, is the chapel, full of monks, obviously looking after the place. I'm going to have a wander in, and there seems to be daffodils that haven't quite blossomed. People use this for weddings now. And to be honest, I'm not surprised. It's, it's got an, an awful lot of charm attached to it. Look at that. Wow. How fantastic. Could you imagine getting married there? That would be a lovely thing. And uh, you can have a sit down if you're tired on the little seat at the side. Just how, how lovely is this? What a nice place to get married. So people do get married in this lovely remnant of medieval times. I mean, we're talking, we're going back away. We're talking 1300s. Now, the thing that I, I, I'm not certain of was... If you were a leper back in the day, you were considered unclean. Cursed by God is what the Christians said. And there's a couple of different types of leprosy. One can get passed on very easily. The other one can't. But they didn't know that. They presumed that all leprosy was the same. So they built a leper hospital. This is the chapel. The hospital, I believe, was right around the other side of it. So let's have a... Let's have a wonder and see. The thing that I don't understand is the monks had nothing to do with the leper hospital. They, they wanted it left alone because these people were cursed by God, so they didn't want to do anything with them. They certainly didn't want to spend time with them. Here we go. And this is all that's left. Little pieces of stone. This is the ground where... Oh, look at the chairs. They've carved a couple of chairs, presumably for, the, for weddings and what have you, yeah. which is cool. But that stone looks like it's the only one left, and that was the end of a leper hospital. How about that? And there's some people that today won't even put their hands on it, thinking... Suddenly they'll catch this terrible curse from God. It's not a curse from God. It's a, it's a health issue like any other. It still exists all over planet Earth, bless them. And uh, this is where it was. Now, the interesting thing and the thing that we're going to be telling you about is the leper trail. There was a leper trail because the... The priests didn't want the lepers anywhere near them. So the lepers had to stay inside the building. And if they didn't stay inside the building, they had to go for a walk. And they had to walk literally almost three, four miles to get to where they 
could spend a little bit of time. And that trail couldn't be anywhere that the public went because they believed if the public were anywhere near a trail where lepers were, they could still catch that horrible complaint. And we're going to take you on the leper trail to find out what the curse of the lepers was. We're also going to tell you about a man called Stony Bows, who became Lord Mayor of Newcastle and High Sheriff of Durham. And we have a tragic love story at a disused railway station that we're also taking you to. So I'm not telling anybody else, I'm just telling you, so you know, from nine o'clock tonight, an interesting promenade. And I hope you'll join us. Until then, thanks again for everything that you do. You've got no idea how important it is that you support us. And the more you support us, the more we'll do. Sincere thanks. And incidentally, if you share the stream, and we always want you to share the stream. The main one, not the, this one. Not this one, obviously not. The one at nine o'clock. Share that stream, and every person who does will go in the hat for a JBL headset. It's a Bluetooth beautiful mini headset. I'll tell you more about that later on, but it's super cool. So make sure you share the big stream from nine o'clock. And if you do that, we'll be very grateful and we shall conquer the world together. But until nine o'clock, I sincere thanks to you. How about this place? And if you're thinking of getting married, hey, if you're old school and you like the old ways, could you think of a better place than that? Wow. Amazing. <laughs>